Hello YouTube, or welcome back to another mod log episode with me, FS Farmyard Dog. Now today we are looking at a self-propelled cedar. It is the Challenger Rogator 645D. This mod will set you back £200,000 with a daily maintenance cost of £210 per day. This will get you 224 horsepower and a max speed of 24 miles per hour. It's able to hold 5,000 litres of fertiliser in the tank and has a working width of 36 metres and a max working speed of 9 miles per hour. Now it is quite similar to the in-game New Holland self-propelled fertiliser, although this is a lot more expensive, adding £37,000 to the buying price and a much higher maintenance cost of £790 per day. Although this is higher horsepower at 400, you do get a smaller um, amount of working speed as it's a 2 mile an hour difference as this is able to work at 7 miles an hour and this is able to work at 9 miles an hour. So although this is the cheaper option out of the two, you may get the job done quicker, especially on larger fields. Now I do have them side by side to give a little bit of a, a comparison between the two. Um, first of all, this mod does use the sort of matte textures rather than the more glossy in-game textures. That is down to personal preference, although with the yellow, I believe the yellow might work better with the uh, matte textures rather than the full glossy textures, um, but that is just something to consider. So I have had a little test with this. Um, as you can see, there is a, a dirt texture on the wheels which, build up, which builds up very quickly, and a little bit of a dirt texture does appear on the bottom model of the um, sprayer. However, it's uh, tastefully done. Now, I will just check for clip first of all. Now, the cab is fully clip free along with the front wheels. However, at the back, you are able to pass through half of the back wheels and the, the majority of the uh, back section there. However, I do believe that has been done on purpose to allow for the mouse control to move the hydraulics um, of the back fertilizer once it's folded out. Um, I'm sure that is probably to avoid uh, a conflict between the uh, the actions and movement of the mod um, to the where the collisions are on the mod. So as a comparison, when you jump in New Holland, you do have quite a restricted view. You have all these sort of hydraulics, and uh, the the actual sprayer is mounted at the front, um, which does sort of um, obstruct your vision, and you've got the GPS and everything. However, in the front of the Challenger Gate or Row Gator, you do have a much freer view, I believe, and you're able to see around a lot easier. So that is something else to consider. Now, as we are in the cab, we do have full IC on the right control, so we are able to fold the passenger seat up and down. Um, we're able to open the side door as normal, and uh, this is probably my favourite feature. The steering wheel is fully adjustable um, obviously to allow you to exit and enter the vehicle a lot easier and in real life that would be done on the foot paddle again on the side we've got our GPS and our joystick and all the controls nicely detailed and uh, ready for use so upon start up you get the Challenger logo and the GPS does come on it is more of a static GPS, however the joystick does have an animation along with the steering wheel. Um, on the GPS screen you do have a picture of two people standing in the field and sort of a mock-up of what GPS would look like in real life. So going outside the vehicle we do have all the normal features um, with the full working lights. Uh, the working lights are very powerful um, so you'll be able to use this at night very easily. And uh, we do have all the normal warning lights and uh, a little horn along with the indicators and the warning lights. One thing to note with the lights on the back of this mud flap, they do slightly, only very slightly clip into the mud flap, which means you get this sort of um, directional light when you move the camera around, which is just something to consider. Um, basically, the image. Um, is being projected just under the mud flap and because the mud flaps at a slight angle it sort of appears to create a direction to the light 
again that is another thing to consider. Now with this mod you are able to fill up from any pallet um, but it must be the liquid fertilizer as opposed to the um, powdered fertilizer. So a max speed of 24 miles an hour is a very short distance until you actually get to 24 miles an hour. Um, as I do believe this is quite a sort of a, a nippy way of getting around uh, a tighter farm. However, I do not recommend using this on a, a farm that has a lot of collisions, sort of trees and walls, as uh, the 36 meter working width um, of the sprayer would... Uh, become very awkward to drive as I say once sold now this has full collision um, so you're not going to get away with driving through any trees and on the mouse control if you hold the left button and roll up and down the mouse pad you are able to adjust the height so if I put it right down to the bottom and jump out quickly each individual spare head is modeled and placed nicely you've got sort of the red detailing and the clip going around the metal framework and as I said these are fully with collision and you've got the hydraulics there all modeled very nicely and sort of the bash bar to avoid um, you damaging the end of the sprayer arm. Upon turning the fertilizer on it is actually key B and uh, you can see the in-game sort of animation is used um, to get sort of the cone effect of the fertilizer hitting the ground the tractor does leave tire tracks and it does work with the hired worker very well so using the hired worker you can see the worker sits in the cab very well and the hand is placed on the wheel and the joystick very nicely and like I said before the sprayer arm does have a full collision so the hired worker may have a little bit of trouble um, getting around this one however he does reverse a little bit backwards which is very helpful um, as uh, he is self aware of how big the arms are. So with a little bit of hesitation and uh, a bit of navigation the hired worker is pretty good with this mod um, and it, as it does realise how large the model is. So I hope you have enjoyed this overview of the Challenger Road to Sprayer. If you fancy like giving this a download, the link will be in the description as normal. All this is available on the official mod hub in game. So if you want to pick it up there, feel free to do so. So again, thanks for the support on the channel and bye for now.